Um, I do want to point out that I'm not a professional newscaster, so I it might sound like I'm reading this, and I kind of am, but um, these are some of my thoughts on recalls. So people often ask, isn't a recall an extreme measure? The answer is no. California is one of many states that affords its citizens the direct right of action in government. For example, to bypass an often cumbersome legislative process, Californians can exercise their right to place a, po a proposition on a ballot and achieve a legislative outcome by direct popular vote. Similarly, California allows its citizens to take direct action and remove an elected official who has lost the public's trust. Recalls became fashionable during the pro progressive populist period in American history shortly after the turn of the 20th century and became part of Article, part, Article 2 of the California Constitution in 1911. Interestingly, the founders debated inserting a recall provision in the U.S. Constitution, but James Madison was against direct democracy, so we were left instead with the impeachment process that we are all too familiar with now. In California, since 1913, there have been 179 recall attempts of state elected officials. Eleven of those 179 recall efforts collected enough signatures to qualify for the ballot, and of those, six recall efforts were successful, most notably in 2004, when Arnold Schwarzenegger was elected in that recall election that ended then Governor Gray Davis's political career. 19 states now have provisions allowing for the recall of statewide office holders, and approximately 30 states allow for the recall of local elected officials. So recall is not a new process. It has been used across the country, and it is not extreme. 